Hello everybody, it's Josh here for NintendoFeed.com and today we have a brand new feature on our YouTube channel. Yes, that is of course our Indie Spotlight. Today we're taking a look at Two Tribes' Toki Tori for the Wii U eShop. It's a fantastic little title, obviously a re-release, HD remake of the original Toki Tori. There is a Toki Tori 2, a sequel, but I have to say that I much prefer the original. So let's jump in and take a look at exactly what this game has to offer. Okay, so this is of course our main menu, where everything is controlled from. We can start. We've got our select world screen, forest falls, creepy castles, slimy sewer, bubble barrage and tesla. I've only unlocked forest falls because I haven't had this game too long and to be perfectly honest haven't had much of a chance to play around in it, but still. Okay, let's take a look. We've got these levels unlocked, so I'm just going to show you the first level to take a look at what the whole thing is about, see what... This first level is going to be pretty basic, but it shows like what's the, you know. Okay, let's take a quick look. It's pretty much jump, run along, pretty easy stuff to be fair. But this level's all about just running, climbing, jumping, you know, that kind of thing pretty easy compared to some of the later levels. Obviously I've got the Game Boy Colour version of this on the 3DS Virtual Console and I have completed that one because I really enjoyed it. Really, really enjoyed it. So I'm hoping to complete it again when I get the time but it's a nice title to have especially considering it was only like £1.79 when I put this up and I think it's that price now on the eShop so go and buy, buy, buy. Let's try out level 5, something that introduces a few new elements to the game. Okay, so this is a simple case of avoid this dude. He walks past, we walk behind him. Oh, yeah, walk behind him and not jump into him. Yeah, that's a great feature of this game and it is the rewind function, so you can just rewind if you make a doo-doo, as I like to say. There, okay, when he goes back again, we'll follow him, not too closely this time. Up here, and let's use our teleport up to the top. Let's grab these. Grab these, here we go. Over these lovely logs. Okay, down here, grab this. Very, very simple, and our last one is over. Pretty easy stuff. I'm sure you'll agree. It's a very nice lot. I'll just show you something a little bit more difficult, so we'll be able to level 8. I wish I could show you some of the further levels, but I haven't actually unlocked those yet. Okay, so here we've got this ice gun thing. We can just shoot him down. Shoot him down. And I think our ice gun is unlimited on this um, particular level, so... We can ice, ice baby to our heart's content. Last one. Pretty easy stuff, yeah. So that's what some of the levels look like. You can get it in normal, hard or bonus. If we go back, we've got the different worlds, obviously. Here, we've got start options and a link to Toki Tori 2 Plus on the Wii U eShop. So look in options. Yeah, nothing too interesting. You can change the controls about... Music, sound effects, you know, all that. Turn the music off if we so wish. We can view credits, etc. It, it's pretty easy. Obviously, all looks really, really nice. I'm really impressed by what they've done, how they've made it more HD-ish, if that's, if that's a sense. But... So, obviously, you can play this on gamepad only. So, if I press the minus button, that's what you will see on the TV screen whilst I play on the gamepad not going to do that because we can't actually record the gamepad. But it's a nice little feature that they've added in there and I like Wii U games that actually do that. It would have been nice to see some interactivity between the Wii U gamepad and the TV but what can you ask for really? So that is Two Tribes' Toki Tori. So be sure to join us next time we'll take another look at an indie title on the Wii U eShop. 
If you have any nominations for what you'd like us to look at, please do leave them below and we'll be sure to take a look as soon as we can. We may revisit some other Two Tribes games because they're pretty prominent indie developers in the Nintendo scene. So thank you very much for tuning in and we shall catch you next time.